This is Glozell. Hey. Hi. We just left the post office where this guy, this guy, I think they were Jewish, and he was yelling at his mom. And she left out of the post office, and then he went out there like, "Come back in line, mom." And we're. Why you turn off the car? Because there's a, there's someone behind me that wanted to use this parking spot. All right. Go ahead. Tell your story. We can leave. You just told me to wait. Wait, I wanted to get a shot that we were at the well, post that's not office. What you said. I didn't say stop and don't move out of the thing. So, you know, messed up what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, and you were saying how it's interesting how people would talk to their moms. White people. White people would talk to their parents. Because a black person, my, my grandmother would have broke something off in that post office and knocked me out. I already know I would have been knocked out. So, And she wouldn't care if you got knocked out. That's what. That's what's so scary. You could be passed out on the floor. She ain't, nobody you calling the police. Right over, you step right over. Step you. right over you, and you better not say nothing. You wake up. You wake up. You wake up. You wake up. Even if it's days later, she's like, "You'll be all right." It's crazy. I got spanked once at the Strawberry Festival. Oh really? Really? You got spanked? What did you do? All the time. This probably was good. Tell me. Tell me, what happened? Well, I don't know. My mom said something and she got on my nerves or something. And I was mumbling and she told me I better be quiet. So I went like this. But she wasn't facing me, so I don't know how she knew I was doing something. Nope. So I was going like this. She had one eye on you. And before I could go like this, point to her, there was a board that came out the sky. I, there was two like by, a two by four. Yeah. Okay. It was this board, and I just knew I'm like, oh lord. She whacked the mess out of me at the Strawberry Festival. That's why I haven't been back to the Strawberry Festival. You probably deserved it. I'm sure you did. I'm sure I deserved it. But, but now, I, now I shake every time I eat strawberries. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, is that it seems like black parents will deal with you right then, whereas white parents will just let them get away with anything. Just let their kids talk to them any kind. Well, maybe not the country ones. Maybe there's some and southern. That's probably an overgeneralization, but that's just what I've seen. Because I know my parents, they would just handle you right there, wherever it was. You just got it right then. Well, you show out, you get woe out. That's right. One time I was at uh, Blockbuster, and this kid, this little kid, he was about seven. He's like, Mom, you effing da 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 da. And I backed up because I knew she was finna. I was like, Oh, he done oh, lost clearing, his mind. Clearing the room, huh? Yeah, I backed up because so, I was so like, mom Whoa, has this is a gonna... workout room. Yeah. Okay. Do okay. so you know she's like, oh, Come on, let's get this movie and let's go. I was like, What? Maybe you didn't hear <laughs> what he said. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I know you got beat. Yeah, I got beat. I got beat. Yeah, my mother used to. Yeah, but does beatings help? So, yeah. so I'm scared of strawberries now, but like, yeah, really? I mean, I mean, like, within reason. I mean, there's there's different camps on that. Some parents don't think they should, you know, put their hands on their kids. But I think you need to heat their seat up every now and then. You I, know? Well, I don't know. I yeah. Know my mother, when I used to show out at school, and my brother as well, we would show out at school. Guess who would show up at school to show out with us right there in the classroom or in the hallway? Okay. Mother. Beat in the classroom. Yeah. And it's at the school, on the school rounds. You want to show out? I'm going to show out too. I'm going to show you. I don't you. know. I'm going to show you who's going to be the show off. I, so I don't know if it works because I watched um, the Super Nanny and she's like, you should put your child on the naughty chair. Put her in, in the naughty chair. And I'm going, uh, some of them kids, Ray Ray and TT, would pick up the naughty chair and throw it. That'll be a joke. What I do know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how old you are, you don't disrespect your parents. That's what I do know. You don't do that. You do not do that. Because now, now God has to get involved. <laughs> yeah, God will send a board so you're behind to get or, beat or at the Strawberry Festival. Or a lightning bolt and just handle you right there. But don't we make that up in our heads? I mean... You're wrong. When you go against your parents, you can't win. All of that mother and that father, our days will be long. Parents, things don't go Hallelujah. Well. Not that they're right about everything, but at least give them that respect. You have the respect to beat my behind. Is that what you're saying? Does that make any sense? Well, you know what? When it didn't make sense, there was this little boy at church that hit some kid. So the mom hit the boy. And then I realized that doesn't make any sense to that little boy. The little boy did what? He hit somebody. So the mom hit, don't you hit. But she hit him. So I was like, when I saw that, I'm going, that didn't make any sense. Because she's probably hitting him all the time. 
when you get immune to that job, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, what's your take on spanking? All right, that's it. We're, we're dropping off some headshots. Uh, SK sold a painting. That's great. All right, so that that's it. Spanking or not to spank? Hmm, that is the question. Over and out. Oh, wait a minute. Can I tell one more story? I don't know if I have time. But my grandmother, one time, oh, I'll tell it another time. Okay, my grandmother, my cousin, she was watching um, Bob Barker. Uh -huh. What's the name of that show, Bob Barker? Price is Right. Price is Right. And you don't talk to my grandmother while she's watching Bob Barker. You do not. My cousin asked for a glass of water, and I was like, oh my God, you actually spoke. She said, I'm watching, she said very calmly, I'm watching Bob Barker. He said, but I'm thirsty. No, she said Bob Barker. So I, he said, but I'm thirsty. She took the stick that was holding up the window, that she called it her air conditioning, but it was just the stick to hold up the window, and she beat the mess out of that boy. I was like, oh God. I <laughs> bet he stayed parched. Now, well, maybe that was wrong. That she, was wrong. Don't ma she said, I, I knew we all know don't talk. You you just better stay thirsty. No, that was wrong. Yeah, my grandma didn't play. That, that was abuse. That was abuse? Yeah, that was abuse. <laughs> you good. Okay, I'm going to tell my grandma. You know she's still alive and kicking. All right. Over and out. My grandma beat. <laughs> what? She beat him. She beat 